Hello and welcome. When I was learning JavaScript in the early stages, uh, I read a few books and some of them just start from wearable and going on like that. You know, when you learn any programming language, you start from wearable and then you start learning about loops, condition, functions, something like that. But the, one of the books I read, they started the teaching JavaScript from events. They directly went to how event is going to work and when you click on a button, what will happen. And that was very interesting and it was very easy to understand JavaScript too. Because we all know JavaScript is all about events. Whenever we write the code, we are uh, actually responding to any event any user is going to do. That's why events are very important. So in this video, we will discuss about event in Vue.js. I know this is not the first video that I should start from event, but this is very important to know. So coming to our application, we have a few alerts here. Let's say for example, I will just come down here. So far, this component have one of the events, this button which we have created for solving, solving a problem. So under them, I will just write a basic function. So I will just explain the basic of event. I know there are so many things we can do with events, but this is basic example. If you know the events, how it works, feel free to skip the video and wait for the, some advanced videos. So if I come all the way down here, let's say you have a button and you say click me. So if someone click on this, how will you want to handle the event? Mostly in JavaScript, it was easy. Like you say on click, it was what the JavaScript was going to do in the old days. So in Vue.js, it is the same. You just write V on and then you can listen to an event on whatever you want. Let's say on click. The user is going to wait for any click. If someone click on this one, you can call anything here. Let's say you can console.log. You know, in, in Vue.js, you can write completely expression inside the double condition here. Or you can call any function. Let's say clicked me or anything you want. This is the function and you can write so if I come to my application and refresh the page, here is the button we have, click me. When I click on this one, nothing will happen. If you come to the JavaScript, they say that you can use V on, V on is going to listen for anything you want. The, their example is V on click, they have count something. So for our example also, we can do the same thing, but let's write the function. We don't want to write any expression here. So I will copy the function name here. In uh, Vue.js, you have name for your uh, component, you have props, and the other uh, thing you have your data. Beside that, you can have all your methods or functions. So for method and function, also they have something called method, oops, mo not module, methods where you can write all your methods in one place. So you can write methods, colon, and then you can have the object of method. Any function you want, just write them here. For example, one of them is click, and this click is going to be equal to the function keyword and now this click is a function for now this is just console.log and what this is going to display is you clicked on the button this is the basic example so if I come to my application inspect element it is automatically refreshing the page. So I will come to the console. Anytime I click on the button here, it is going to fire the event for me. So this is the basic example of using event. In, jo in, in, in view, it is a lot easy. Like you don't have to write V on. All you have to do is for events, of course. For events, you can write at sign and then the, the events you want to have. At click means if someone click on this. Now this is the same way as it was previously. It will work the same way. If you click on this one, it will work just fine. And there are so many good things in Vue.js like they have added for the event. You have click, you have enter, you have a lot more. Like for example, you can scroll down all the way and see some of their example. So let's say we have an input. Uh, oops, we have an input here. And you want to do something after uh, a user type something and then press enter, press delete, press skip, any of this keyword, then you can listen for that event. For example, you have a, let's say we have a placeholder. 
please write your code let's see this is a coupon code or any code you want to have so here is the example of the <laughs> very basic input here i know it is a bit ugly it's fine for now so what i want is what i want to do is i want to do an event like if user type something and press enter i want to say your coupon has been applied or anything you want to do for this one how you are going to detect if user press enter or any other keyword you can write again at key up key up means you someone press on any key and then you can fire an event for example they say do something for now we just say do something and we will write the do something function here so you copy the name and you put a comma here for the first function for the second function again you have the function here this is the old way of creating the function of course the easiest way to create a function in es6 is removing the function it is going to be exactly the same you don't have to do anything and it will work just fine just fine since we are using webpack it will automatically compile to vanilla javascript and it will work just fine uh, for now we will just console dot lock coupon i don't know what is the spelling of coupon uh, coupon applied i know this is wrong so i don't know what is the exact example so if i refresh you don't have to refresh the page of course for now if i come here you write something you can see coupon applied is being written here three times because we enter three character here why this is going to do that one if i come to my event i say on key app it is going to expect any key like you can write any key you, you have in your keyboard and it will work the same way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say not any key just enter if user type something and press enter you should do something you can write uh, event modifier event modifier is after the event you have key app dot you can write your event modifier and you can write enter we have different event modifier and we will discuss all of them in the future videos for now we just write enter and if i come to my code here this time i remove this one nothing has changed here as you can see i press the backspace i i write something and everything is fine and i can click anywhere else nothing will happen unless we press enter when you press enter it will trigger the event this is this much simple so uh, there are some codes for any for every keyboard you have every keyboard every key in your keyboard if you press there is a key a user can listen to that one they, they call it key code uh, but what Vue.js did they just put those as an alias for example for the enter they have a separate key you don't have to write the key actually for them you can write let's say tap you have delete escape these are the most common the most common keyboard people use let's say is space if I click the space I will come here and replace it with the space this time if user press enter nothing happen if they press space it will trigger the event something like that this is a very basic example of event handling in Vue.js there are so much more to, to, to cover the reason I just covered the surface is because I will use them in a practical example so that you can understand them better so I hope it has been informative for you and thank you for watching